This is the PCIe Express feature test, and it's gonna show me how much bandwidth I actually have with this RTX 4080 Super in the reflection that you can't see. It's PCIe 4.0, but I did populate all of the NVMe drives on this motherboard, and my bandwidth is 13.4 gigabytes per second. The CPU is the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X, so 16 cores, 32 threads, and the 4080 Super. Let's see if we can improve that. And going to the ASUS website, you can pull up the chart on this motherboard. It's the ProArt X870E Creator Wi-Fi that I'm actually using. And I did populate this slot right here with an NVMe drive. Now, the problem with that is that it's actually sharing bandwidth with where I put the GPU. But for me, I made that choice because I needed more storage space over speed. But let's see the difference in speed. So let's take out this NVMe drive. A few weeks ago, I came home to these on my desk. The lady loves me. Take out the power cord for the 30th time. And on this motherboard, you actually lift here at an angle and then it all comes out. For safety, I did it with two hands because I'm a little concerned about the pressure that it puts on this. So again, this is the ASUS ProArt X870E Creator Wi-Fi. And there we go. Be careful with those. Insert the power plug for the 31st time. Didn't really click that time. Mm -hmm. This case might be quiet is the LightBase 900 FX and has this cool little support bracket right there. Power on. If you understand the power on reference, please let me know in the comments. I think I'm getting old. In search of incredible. Well, you found it. Oh, the lady magically made me an espresso and put it here. I, wow, cool. And back to the PCIe Express feature test. Run. And we can see right away the test is giving us a much better bandwidth because that NVMe drive is not there. And so our speed greatly increased just from taking out this NVMe drive. So bigger numbers are better, right? Well, in gaming for Star Citizen, where this is a very GPU demanding scene, this is crushing the RTX 4080, just full load for it. And I'm getting the same exact FPS. 47, 46, sometimes 50. We're very much GPU limited using almost 12 gigs of VRAM and the rail is 289 watts that it's maxing out at. GPU temp at about 60 degrees Celsius. And yeah, it's like hitting 93%, 100%, 90%. So we are GPU bound and it didn't make a difference. But it will greatly depend on your own games and applications as to if having all the lanes or half the lanes will even be noticeable for you. If you like this style of content, hit all the buttons, share, like, follow, all that good stuff.